Hi, I'm uh, Ron El Hawari. I'm a pediatric orthopedic surgeon in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Historically, scoliosis has been treated surgically with fusions, and, and my interest is to try to preserve motion with the surgical treatment of scoliosis. The Apifix is a really attractive option in that it can be placed through a relatively small incision along the back part of the spine. And rather than having two rods and you know 15 or 20 screws holding the spine in place, the Apifix is a single rod with three screws and the screws are attached to the rod with special joints that allow some movement between the screws and the rod itself. Because of that, it can correct the scoliosis and it can allow for movement over time. The surgery often takes about two hours to perform, which is much less than a typical fusion operation, which are often four or five hours. As a result, it ends up being less invasive, so there's less risk of bleeding or anesthetic concerns. There should be less risk of complications with the spinal cord. After the operation, the patients are in the hospital for one to two days. They require some pain medication through an IV for about a day, and then just pain medication orally for a few days afterwards. Once the patients are ready to go home after a day or two, they're generally ready to get back to school within a week or two. Getting back to sports, we're still a little bit cautious because we still need to give the incision and the muscles time to heal and to allow the bone to really start incorporating around the screws so the anchors are really solid so they don't shift. So we typically wait about six weeks before the patients are able to do any running or swimming or biking and any heavier impact sports or activities such as dance or swimming, we'd wait about three months after that. Within the first 10 years of my practice, the only surgical option we really had was fusion. And I've always known in my heart that we can, we can do better than that. We're giving these patients an option to correct their scoliosis, but they're losing their flexibility, and then potentially 20 or 30 years later developing arthritis. I've always known that with my engineering background, there would be some opportunities to work with different research studies, different groups to try to improve upon techniques. If um, you're a patient with scoliosis or you have a family member with scoliosis who, who are in the, the adolescent years, there are different treatment options and one of them is the Apifix. If the scoliosis is just a single curve, a C curve rather than a double or an S curve, less than 60 degrees that's flexible with bending x-rays, then Apifix may be a technique that's suited to you or your child. If you are interested and want to learn more about it, I'd encourage you to ask your family physician to refer your child to a clinic in which there is a physician that uh, performs this surgery. A good resource is through the Apifix website or through the uh, Scoliosis Research Society website to get a bit more information on the technique and the surgeons who offer it.